Yay. Hi, everybody. I am Kay, and I teach here at the Linden Hills location. That's where I'm located right now. We are going to do a noon. Um, it's noon. It is noon on Thursday. We're going to do a 45 minute bar class, and let's just wrap this right away. So go ahead and come into a comfortable position. I'm going to take child's pose. If there's something that you prefer to take, just to let yourself round. Um, go ahead and take that for the first couple of minutes. I do have an Apple playlist. If you wanted to put that on, it's entirely up to you. If there's another two that you want to jive to, go ahead and take that. But as you take these first few breaths, just settling in, maybe, oh, maybe this is the first time you've been able to breathe today or just been really conscious of your breath. Just invite that inhale and exhale and let it just move through your whole being. Right? We know that we are in this together and the unknown is, is always like brings up all the emotions. So for the next 45 minutes, this is what you can control. You can decide how tough you want to work. I'm going to provide you all different variations. We're not going to use any weights. If you uh, have access to a countertop or a chair, when we are doing things that you want balance, go ahead and be, be close to that. Otherwise, if you want to balance it on up that whole time, we'll come. We'll do that too. Okay. So take one more breath wherever you are. I'll let that release all the way. And then just taking your time, press yourself up to that tabletop position. And as you arrive in your tabletop, I want you just to move freely through your body here. So it might be a little sway of the hips from side to side. It might be some rounds of cat and cow. Just allow that spine to unravel. And where you can bring release or softness into that jaw, to your toes, go ahead and take that. Beautiful. And then from there, as you find yourself in stillness, let's send that right to the right shoulder toward the back of your mat for the way. Just take a couple presses through that heel, get a little, <clears throat> little calf stretch. You're going to keep that right foot as is, and then make your way into your modified side plank. So reach your right hand up towards the ceiling, take a little rotation in that wrist. Take another big breath right here. And then as you exhale, release that right hand, and we're just going to step right foot wide. Just taking a couple breaths. We know we'll get into those hips and glutes and hamstrings. So just saying a little hello. You might take a shift forward and back. Just invite a little opening there. Beautiful. And then as you return back to your center, straight away from that left foot towards the back of your yoga mat. As you press through your heel a couple times, get a little calf stretch. I'm going to put my back to you just for a moment as I open to that modified side plank position. So reaching up through that top hand, whatever would feel really good right there. Go ahead and take one more inhale. And as you exhale, release to center. You're going to step that left foot nice and wide, just moving in some space in those hips, shifting any way that you like. Awesome. All right, from here, let's go ahead and come back to your plank position. So you might love being on the knees, you might love being on the toes, you might love being on the elbows. Just find a way to connect with that center body. Feel that belly drawing in towards your spine. Feel a little softness in your elbows. We're here just for four more breaths. We're going to add on a little bit in three, in two, on your one, from knees or toes, you're just going to start to draw that knee in towards your navel. In. So you might even find a little bit of a cat-like spine as you draw that knee in. We're just trying to ignite that center body. Breathe here for another eight. Yes, yes, seven, six more, five, four, three, two. Now on your one, go ahead and stretch those hips high. If you prefer tabletop versus down dog, go ahead and take either option. Once you get there, just take some moments to make a little more space in those hips. You might turn that head from side to side. Ah, beautiful. Awesome. From here, you're going to shift yourself back forward. Find your way to plank position. This time, let's all lower to the knees, and we're going to rock out a set of plank position with pose. So if you like to take plank up standing at the wall or at your countertop, that might feel better on your shoulders. Otherwise, you those hands wide on your yoga mat, your knees or toes. Let's go ahead and start to press down and up. So in these first few, I would like you just to find your amazing form. Just feel your connection to your whole body here. Activate those glutes. And then let's meet at the top. Take a big breath in. Slowly lower for a count of four, three, two, and one. Press it up for two. Let's do that again. Four, three, two, one. Press it up, 
up. That's right. Four, three, two, one. Press it up. Up one more time. Four, three, two. You're gonna hold here. Squeeze those glutes. Breathe here. Relax your jaw. You can smile. And then take a tiny pulse up for eight, seven. Hello, six, five more. Yes, yes. Four, three, two. Let's take a child pose. Stretch that out. Release through your whole back body. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Awesome. All right, go ahead and take your time. You can stay here if you need to, of course. I'm not going to see you. Otherwise, you're going to just make your way to your forward fold. So just start to walk those feet right behind your wrist and to face you forward. Like whatever you need to feel good here, you might shake off through that head. You might move your hips a little bit from side to side. Ah. Keeping your chin connected towards that chest, start to roll yourself up all the way up to the end. Once you reach the top, take that big inhale. Interlace your fingers at the top of your palms all the way towards the ceiling. And then go ahead and reach up to one side. Find that little side body stretch. Uh, inhale your way through center. Exhale up and over to that second side. Awesome. Come all the way through to your center. I want you to go ahead and sit right back into your chair position. So find the deep squat. Resting through those heels, little pulses down, down, down. Just to let that lower half get a little heat. Drive away in your heels. Let's go eight like this. Here's seven, uh-huh. Six, keep that chest nice and open. Let's go four, three, and two. You're gonna take it down, and you might just swing it like up and around. So you're just gonna be a little stretch and openness through the tops of those thighs, so those hip flexors, so you know soon enough you're gonna feel a little side, all right? Four more right here, up and around. Here's three, two. On your one, you're gonna sink back down into that pulse, just for eight, and seven. Six, five more. We're gonna add in a little knee twist in two. On your one down, go ahead and take a twist and a twist. Now, if you don't want to take a twist, you're gonna draw that knee right through center, or you can come down and up. Okay. So for your own variation, let's just take eight more and seven, six, five. We're gonna add a little balance in four. So if you want to be close to a chair. Or you can challenge your balance in two. On your one, you're gonna drive through that left leg, kickstand your right foot, you can pull it up. Hands can be at hips, center, up towards the ceiling. You're gonna take a little pulse of that right leg up and up. Keep that heart rate up. So feel the top of that thigh starting to activate, feel your core starting to lock in. And I'm just gonna face this way. You can see that knee, hip, all in a line, or you can keep it right here, okay? Top of that thigh, feeling a little fire. Let's go four more. Three, two, on your one, you're gonna get out and in. Extend and bend. Out, in, just break. Woo, seven, yes, yes. Six more. Take it five, four, three. You're gonna hold that leg to straighten in two. Right here, hold, hold, hold. You might flex those toes back towards you. We're here just for four, three, Two, on your one, set that leg down, down and up right there. If you can do a little pound to that leg, just straight up, up and down, four more. We're gonna add that knee back in. This time we start with the left knee in two, on your one, so down, take that knee across. Okay, you come right here, where you add that upper body twist. You got it. Woo! Let's go four, three, Two, this time on your one, you're gonna find that balance. So whatever place you wanna press those hands, finding the steadiness there, little up, so that left knee up, and up, up, and up. Beautiful, little tiny lifts right here. Let's go eight, seven. Nice posture, standing tall, tall, tall. We have four more. Three, two, you're gonna extend that left leg. Take it out, bring it in, out, and in, yes, eight more. Seven, nice, six. Kick it out for five, four, you're gonna hold in three, yes you can. Two, right here, you flex those toes back towards you, pull that belly in, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last set of squats, just straight up and down, flush out those legs, let's go seven. Six more, five, four, three, Two, 
and one. Beautiful. Give a little shake, shake, shake. All right. We're ready now. Okay. So, like I said, we're going to go ahead and quickly check my time. I'm going to keep me honest here. All right. I want you to turn yourself to face um, a bar or a chair. You might not have a bar. A chair, a counter, if you want that balance, okay? We're going to start with big toes together, touching heels, come together, and you're just going to take a lift and a lower. Now, if you like a little space between those feet, by all means, go ahead and take that. So we're just firing up through the backs of those legs, lifting and lowering, lifting and lowering, up and down, right there. Now, you are so welcome to challenge your balance with whatever you'd like, okay? You feel like you want to add weights at any point, you go for it, okay? Your workout right here. Let's go eight more. Seven. We're gonna let those heels stay nice and high. And six, five, <laughs> excuse me, four more. Three, keep those heels lifted high. Two, on your one, take a tiny pulse at the top. Tiny little pulse up, up. Feel those calves. Yes, yes. Let's go eight. Seven more. You got it. Six, five, please. Four. Three, now listen carefully. Two, on your one, your feet are going to get our arm apart. We're going to go ahead and press them all the way together. You're just going to come down and up. So sliding down that wall, standing tall, down and up. Now you can make this a smaller range of motion, whatever feels best in your body, eight like this. Seven, six more. Here's five. You know we're going to hold low in four. Three, two, now on your one, you're going to hold low and take that tiny pulse down. Pulse it down. Yeah, so I don't know if I can challenge my balance, but maybe you can. So hands wherever you want them, little pulses for the last eight right here. Seven, six, watch him shook. He's not using any bar in right now, it's really passive. Four, three, you're going to hold. Two, on your one, if you want to, one arm up. Maybe that second arm follows. Can we take a half an inch lower? We're just here for four. You've got it. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Nice work. All right. If you need a little sip of water, I'm going to take one. Sip your water early, often, as much as you can. Okay. And let's stick with a little bit more rocking on both sides. So I want you to bring your heels together this time. Toes are going to open wide. Once you get there, you're just going to take a plie and straight. Bend. So I'll face you for a moment so you can kind of see that. You might not need that bar at all for this first little bit, okay? As you come together, think about really drawing everything towards your midline. Let's take it for eight more. Seven, You're certainly welcome to add in a little bit of shoulder work if you want to, arms up. Four, three, two. Now on your one, you're just pressing down to those heels, so keep your whole foot Nice and flat to the ground, relax those shoulders, press down, press down, little presses to the tops of your thighs, and make sure to feel this through the seats a little bit. All good. Eight, seven, here's six more. Let's go five, four, three more, please. Two, you're going to stay this slow, press those knees back, 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 back. So you can barely see that your legs are moving, so it's a tiny pulse. Back, back, back. We have eight more. Seven, six. Let's go five, four. You're going to put those two together in two on your one. Back and then press down. Take it back. Press it down. Take it back. Press it down. Back and lower. We have eight more. Seven, uh huh. Six, five, four, three. Two, now on your one, you're gonna lift straight through your legs. You might grab that bar or that chair for you. You're gonna lift your heels and low. Back to those calves. We'll layer it from there. So it's a lift of those heels and a lower. Lift and lower. Up and down. Up and down. All the way up. Now, if you does, does not feel good on your ankles to take it to that higher elevate, you do what feels right for you, okay? Eight more right here. Seven, six, five, four. We're going to hold once again at the top in two. Right here, you can hold it or take a tiny little pulse up, 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 up. Everything's squeezing at the top. Last eight, seven, you got it. Six, your calves are starting to feel that fire. We're going to stay with this four, three, 
three, two, now on your one-foot close heels, so they come all the way together to touch. Press through all 10 toes, and then you're gonna slide it down and up. Now again, you decide the range of motion, all the way to bend and straighten, okay? As we surface, you could have this be just a two to three inches. You could have it be a four to five inch range of motion, okay? Let's go four more, just like this. Three, two, now you are welcome to come all the way to straight legs, but here's your challenge. Down, save a little, down, keep that knee bent. Down, keep that knee bent. So come up about 80% of the way. So those thighs are burning on out the whole time. Woo! You got it. Let's go eight more. Seven, six, five, four, please. Three, two, hold right there. Just as in the back, back, back. This is how you're going to finish. Press those knees back. Back, squeeze those glutes, squeeze those glutes. Press back, 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 your eight. Seven, keep breathing. Six, five, you know you're gonna have that hold. So just hang on tight. Three, two, here it is. Half an inch lower. One arm up, baby. Yes, you can. That second arm follows. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, wait. Might feel good. This is my favorite stretch. Just grab it over the top of the thigh. To re-lengthen, get a little blood flow to those. Very worked quadricep muscles, okay? I'm gonna take another sip of water, do what you need to do, okay? All right, let's take a moment. I always like, I'm not gonna know everybody that's on, so I'm gonna imagine you're talking to me right now, okay? But I always like to rock some arms, and we like to have it be interactive. So, on your own right now, you're gonna start with circling those arms, okay? And why don't we bring a little lower half into this? So, we're just taking little arm circles here. Um, and just today, what's one word that you're just going to stick with? It's going to be your mantra to make it through today, okay? This is like your halfway reset. I don't really know what's happening today. It's a noon hour, right? But here's your resetting your day. What do you want to like hold on to and have be your word, that word of power, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with patience, okay? My patience has been challenged, has with many of you, right? So I'm gonna just keep thinking about, I am patient, I'm a patient person. I can do this, all right? You can press those palms up, 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 up. Okay, whatever you wanna do with that lower half, feel free. The wise, kind of take it maybe into a little wide stance. You wanna add those legs. I'm just gonna press those palms up, up, up right here, okay? Yeah, 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 let's go four more right here. Three, we're gonna keep these legs, if you want to, on your one, it's gonna go up and down, up, down. So palms up, palms down, palms up, palms down, up and down. I like to take a little bounce because it kind of makes me think, forget about what I'm doing. You do what feels right for you, okay? Over, under, over, under. Breathe it out. Eight like this. Seven, we're gonna come out of these legs. We're gonna still rock our arms, because I know you can. Four, three, two, on your one, bicep curl right here. So out and in, okay? You do not need weights. I'm feeling so much fire without having any weights in my hands, okay? If you feel like you want to pull something more, maybe not at all, but maybe you take a little balance into this. You float a leg, bring it back a little bit more to that core. Out and in, out and in. Eight like this. Seven, uh huh. Six. Three, two, you're gonna switch those legs, you're gonna keep your arms up, raise that roof. So soften, little micro bend in those elbows. So you're still engaging those biceps. Let's go eight more. Seven, six, five. We're gonna rock triceps and four. I'm gonna face this direction. Three, two, on your one, you're gonna press back, 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 back. Okay? In the spirit of balance, if you want it, right here, one leg. Maybe you fly to your airplane. Maybe you sink it low, okay? Palms to the sky, press up, up, up. Squeeze those muscles to your bone for eight. Seven, six, five more. You can do this, four, three. We're gonna switch it up in two. Come back to center, press your palms towards midline. Press, press, press. Maybe add it in, 
That second side of airplane. Press, press, press. You got it. Keep your chest lifted. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Eight. Seven. We're gonna touch down. Five. Four. We're not quite done. Three. Two and one. In, up, in, up, in, up, in, up. Eight. Woo! Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Here's your finish. Up and down. Woo! Just regular move for yourself. We'll take it nice and wide. Okay. We're gonna get that heart rate up a little bit if you'd like. Or you tap it right here. Okay. So you go big or you take it a little bit more contained. Feel those shoulders right here. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. What's your word? Four. Three. Two. Big slaps. Up and down. Up and down. Just do a little fan for yourself. Shake it on up. But you're still working. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Tap those arms out. Elbows, high air, high fives, all the love, you guys. Nice job, right? Whew. These are called Madonna arms. You ever seen her? Yeah. That is you right now. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's get into our seat a little bit, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna either face that that um that balancing object as, if you want to, or you can have one hand up. I'm gonna have one hand just so I can demonstrate a little bit. We'll take right leg forward first. I want you to get low in that right leg. Your left leg steps back. You're just gonna step it in. You're gonna step it up. You're gonna step it in. You're gonna step it up. Now you don't have to use anything if you don't want to balance this. I kind of sort of like to pump my arms, okay? You can do a reach and pull, or you can keep your hand nice and stable. There's a mirror from me. I have a little to check in there. All right, four more right here. You're staying low in that right leg. Three, two, on your one, you either keep your toes touched down, you can float your legs, sink a little deeper in that standing leg, and then you're gonna pulse, you're gonna pulse, you're gonna pulse. So if you can, I'm picking up those toes a little bit on my front leg, so driving into that seat free. Seven more, six, five, four. We're gonna take a little bend out of that right leg in two and one, but keep just the softness, and then focus on that left leg, so you're pressing up. You wanna see this view right there. Okay, you want to balance it, you balance it. Keeping that leg as straight as you can. Little tiny presses up, 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 up. Eight, so think about lifting from that hamstring. We have five more, four. Here's three, two. Now on your one, you're circling that leg in one direction so you can barely see my foot moving, but you're just taking a tiny quarter size circle for eight. Seven, six, here's five, four, four, three, two. On your one, you're circling the opposite way for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Here's how you're gonna finish the side. You're gonna bring that knee in. You're either gonna touch it down or you're gonna balance it all together. Okay? You can come up, take it to your airplane. So a bigger range of motion. This might be one variation, taking those arms. Here might be another place where you'd like to be. Up, touch it down. You are on your own, just breathing this out, doing what feels best in your body for four more. Three, two, you're gonna find your last full low, touch down with those feet, or maybe hover the legs, sink lower to that same leg. Eight, seven, Six, pulse it for four, three, two, and one. Oh, yes, okay. Standing leg right side, might be a little figure four. Go ahead and sink into that. All right. Woo, yeah, I'm gonna shake a shake up, okay. I'm gonna face the opposite way, so let's move right into that second side so I can remember what to do. Left leg's gonna come forward this time, right? It's gonna step back, and we're gonna sink into that, that left standing leg. And you're gonna touch it in and out. In, out. You use those arms, however you'd like, or you use your balancing object. Sounds like a magic trick. Let's go eight more. Seven, six, 
five, we find that low place in four, three, two, now on your one, toes down, maybe flip that leg, sink a little lower to that left knee. seven, six, five, four, three, two, on your one, straight through that leg, a little bit, so tiny little bit of your bend, pulse that right leg up and up. Up. Now, if you're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to go back, it's just not to have you. I want you to be more vertical, okay? Some of you might want to come to a full horizontal spine or some place in between there, all right? Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three more. Two on your one, you're circling in one direction, three. Seven, six, five, four. Three, two, on your one, so the opposite way, three. Seven, you've got this, six, keep breathing, five, on uh -huh, you can, four, three, we're gonna rock that balance, two, and one, with the belly up. You either touch it down or you take it to your airplane, you need someplace in between. You want full on balance, add in whatever arms, just like make you feel really alive, okay? Let's go four more. Three, two, we're all gonna find that hold on your one, touch down with your right foot. Maybe you'll hop of that leg. Stay low into your standing leg, you pulse for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, all right. So give that little bit of attention and love to that left leg. Take your four that on out. Woo! How are we doing? So good, I hope. Yes? All right. Give a little more shape, okay? So I want us to stay one more little bit for that, um, for your back side, right? So you're gonna go ahead and set yourself up so you have a little balance, okay? We'll take we'll take it back to the right leg to start. Actually, let's start with a little heels together, toes apart, bend through those knees. I want you to take that pulse that we did before, okay? Just a little pulse down with those quads. Feel that fire again. Relax those shoulders, okay? You can stay right there or see if you can take a low heel. So your heels are lifted up off your yoga mat or off your carpet or wherever you are, but you don't have to, it's just an option. Just getting into those thighs just a little more. Feel free to balance this out. We're gonna take this just yes, little pulse down for another set of 10. Nine, eight, Seven more, six, five, four, three, two. On your one, you're straight through those legs. Left leg is going to keep that turn out. Right leg is going to be our moving leg. So you're just going to start to lift and lower. As you lift, your right knee doesn't turn out. You try to keep those hips and shoulders squared to the, whatever is in front of you, okay? Maybe it's that countertop. Maybe it's that chair. Maybe you're taking one hand like I'm doing here. You're keeping everything square, really being mindful of that low back. Let's go eight like this. Your standing leg has a micro bend so you're not locking out that knee. Four, three, you're gonna keep that leg lifted in two. Here it is, little lift up. Now that outside hand, or any of your hands for that matter, you do what feels right in your body. You wanna balance this by all means, okay? You have eight more little pulses up, seven, six, Five, four, I'm gonna just turn slightly so you can see this next move a little better. Three, two, on your one, you're gonna press that foot over towards your left side. So you're pressing, you're pressing, you're pressing, you're pressing. It's almost like you're wrapping your leg around your body, okay? Eight more like that. Seven, let's go six, five, please, four. Three, you're gonna take a little combo in two. On your one, it goes in and then you lift it. You take it in, you lift, you take it in, you lift. Eight, lift, seven, lift, six, lift, five, and lift, four, up, three, two. Now here's how you finish. You're gonna send that leg out at an angle and you're gonna pulse it up like you cannot believe we're still doing this. The top of that seat is on fire. Whatever you want to do with any of your arms, we're here for the last eight. Seven, six, we're just going to hold in four, three, 
two, maybe float one or both arms, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So all down that side, okay? It might feel really nice just to get a little forward fold right down with the arms. Move so that low back is a little release. It might even feel good to come into kind of a crouch position, okay? We'll make sure to get some good stretches at the end, all right? Uh oh. Ah. Just take a really big breath in. And really big breath out. We're gonna do this, okay? Let's conquer that second side here, but it's so close. So this time, I want you to have your heels about hips width apart, toes open wide, and you're gonna come down and straight. You're just flushing off those legs just a little bit after recovery here, and then we're gonna rock that second side. Down and up. So think about squeezing out the top, keeping everything nice and tall. So really lengthen through that whole spine. Four more right here. Three, two, on your one, you're gonna stay right here. Your press to those heels just break. You can stay as is, or four more. We're gonna float your heels high this time in two. I'm gonna face you so you can float those heels high and then pulse down, down, down. Little pulses down, down, down. You got it. Let's go eight. Seven. Six. Five. You can stay here. We're going to pedal heels side to side in four. Three. Two. Here it is. Switch and switch and switch and switch. Eight. Ha! Seven. Six. Your little hole is coming in four. Three. Two, if you would like two heels up, maybe one arm, maybe two arms, we have four. Three, two, and one. Beautiful, straight that out, okay? We gotta rock that second side. So your right foot is gonna have the turn up. Your left leg is moving. Lift and lower. If you need a little more time, just like, whoo, get a little shake on off, please do that. We'll be here for a little bit. Standing legs soft bend. Think about when you're lifting, you're looking through the back of that left leg through your Hamstring, okay? Do that glute. Lift, lower. Let's go five more here. Four, three, two. Now on your one, you're keeping that left leg lifted. It's a tiny pulse. Up and up, up and up. Lift, 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 lift. Eight, seven. You're so strong. No problem here. Four, three, two. On your one, it's that little wrap to the right side of the side. So wrap that left foot around your body. Wrap it around. Wrap it around. Wrap. Wrap. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Let's go four. Three. You're going to go in and up in two and one. Take it in, lift it up. Take it in. Lift it up, take it in, lift. Two distinct movements, A more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now on your one, you're gonna angle that left leg like out and you're gonna pulse really tiny little up, up, up. So from the top part of that seat, into that low back. Stay lifted through your side body, you have eight. Seven, you're gonna hold in five. Four more, yes you can. Three, two, on your one, maybe an arm, pop in your arm on that bar. Four, three, two, and one. Yes, give a little shake side to side, right? Woo! Take a quick little reset there, okay? Take a little sip of water. We're gonna flush out those legs. We're gonna take a couple little marches. And then we'll move right down the mat in just a moment, okay? So if you're ready, you can take a little active recovery right here. Opposite arm, opposite knee, or you can take it right here if you'd like. Okay. Thinking about activating through your core. Just lifting, 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 keeping those arms nice and placed so that you're keeping them active. Two, on your one, you're gonna press those left arms out, press out, press out, press out. Eight more. Seven. Six, here's five, four, we're gonna finish. In three, we're gonna do one last thing in two, keep these legs pulled down, okay? If you want to add a little bit more of a standing crunch, you're gonna kind of take a rounded, like you're 
kind of vertical board over that knee, or you keep more of a vertical spine. Let's go eight more. Seven. Here's six. Five. Here's four. Three. Two. And one. Beautiful. Nice work. Woo! -hoo! All right, let's go ahead and make our way down towards the ground, but I want us to take a couple breaths here before we do that, okay? If you are already on the ground, please, by all means, you just stay put. Breathe with me wherever you are. Big inhale, if that feels good, arms reach high, this bad. Exhale, just send those arms all the way back down. Flush it out. Inhale, float your arms high. And exhale. Do that one more time, big breath in. This time, if your heart rate is at a place that you can take that forward full, go ahead and take that. If you want to stick up right for a little bit longer, go ahead and do that. In your forward fold, shake out your head from side to side. You might grab a hold of opposite elbow. It might be a really nice opportunity to interlace your fingers into that chest expansion. Feel the crown of the head nice and heavy. Ah, beautiful. From there, you're going to release your hands all the way to the ground. Once you are ready, you're going to step yourself to your plank position, okay? we got to rock one last plank here. Now, you decide what kind of plank variation you want. We're going to take a 30-second plank right here. You can hold center. You can bring toes closer to the harder. You can bring a wide, okay? If you want to add anything, I'm going to take a plank or a little step side to side, which might turn into a little plank jack. Being super mindful of that low back. Pull your belly in. We're down to the last 20 seconds. 19. Woo, I won't count slow. Let's go 10, 9, 8 more, 7, 6, here's 5, 4, 3, 2, and touch down to those knees. Find a little release right there. Woo, yeah. Awesome, awesome work, everybody. Take three more full deep breaths. Just let that go. If you get here and you're like, oh, I am good. I'm going to just stay here longer. Keep on with that, okay? We're going to take one last set of triceps, okay? So this time, I'm going to give you a couple options. You can come into your tricep um, push-up, chaturanga push-ups, knees or toes. Take those elbows nice and close. Press them all the way up. I'm going to flip on over and take a tricep dip, okay? Just a reminder, if you prefer to keep your feet on the ground, that is fine. Just bend those elbows, okay? If you want a little more of a challenge, walk your feet out a little more. Lift those hips, you're gonna get those hamstrings, all right? Here we go, down and up. So whatever position you're in, let's do it together. Down, up, up, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bend, and straighten. Let's go 10, nine, Eight, you are so amazing. You are showing up for yourself. Four, three, two. Now here's your challenge. You hold upright and hold those arms straight, or maybe bend your elbows deeply. Open across that chest wherever you are. Let's go eight, seven. You want to add a little pulse for four, three, two, and that is good. Take a little arm overhead, stretch that on out. Woo, yeah. Maybe find that second side. Give a release to that head. All right. Let's go ahead and move into one last um, little bit of core work, and then we'll take it up into our seat. So extending those legs long, you just make your way to your back. If you want a little kind of Pilates roll down, extend those arms towards your toes. Pull that belly in. Make sure you have enough space as you roll all the way down. The long body stretch feels good. Go ahead and reach through fingers and toes. Almost got my water bottle there. All right. And then from here, you're going to send those legs up towards the ceiling. You're just going to reach to your toes and reach and reach and reach. Now, if you want to up your ante, you have that weight or a soup can or a child or a pet right here, you want to reach that object to your toes. You can certainly add that in, right? Let's go eight like this seven, six. Here's five. Four, three, two, on your one, lower your head, you're going to lower those legs down, and you're going to lift them up, okay? You might prefer to do this with your knees bent. You might prefer to do this 
and let your shoulder blades come off the ground, okay? So do what feels right. If your shoulder blades come off the ground, you feel good. So let your hands come behind your back. So you're just lowering those legs and you're lifting them back up. Eight more. Seven. Oh. Here is six. Five more, please. Four. We're going to rock that hover because you can. In three. Two. Now lower your legs as low as feels comfortable. Just these bent knees, just these straight legs. You can peel your shoulder blades off the ground. Let's take tiny little flutter kicks for eight, seven, six, five. Long body stretching. Four, three, two, and release. Either hug those knees in or extend your fingers and toes. Nice and long, big, full breaths. Ah, nice job, everybody. All right. <clears throat> So before we take our last stretch, let's take our glutes one more time. So you're going to take your heels. I love working those hamstrings because it's hard to kind of get into them. So typically our heels are nice and close towards our feet. We set up our bridge. I want your heels pretty far away from your body. So there's no way you can touch them. Normally how you can touch them right to your heels, okay? So from that place, you're going to lift your feet up. As you do, just make sure that you are pulling that belly in. You're keeping your shoulder blades on the ground so that your low back feels protected. And you're going to pulse up right there. So hopefully, pretty quickly, you feel those hamstrings, the backs of those legs, feeling that heat. That's what we're really focusing on. Glutes and hamstrings right here. Soften and relax if you can. Smile through that face. You are almost done. You are so incredibly strong. If someone has joined you in this noon bar party, you're going to show them, make it a little friendly competition. That you can do 10 more right here. Nine, eight, seven, six, here's five, four, three. Now in two, you're going to see if you stay there. Maybe float those heels, lift up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release that all the way down, straight through your arms and legs. Roll out through those ankles. Ah, yeah. All right. If you are like, I'm so good. That's perfect. That's great. You're going to start stretching. Otherwise, if you want last 30 seconds, last. Here it is. You're going to take your scissor legs. Okay. You're going to take one leg up, one leg down, one leg up, one leg down. You can do this with bent knees. Some of you love that bicycle twist. Is that where you're at today? If you like to curl scissors, okay? You do what feels best on your low back, what feels best on your neck, your shoulders. We are cranking out 30 seconds more. Just find any variation that will feel so good to finish with. If you've broken that sweat, I hope a little bit. We're down to the last 10. Nine, eight, seven more. Yes, you can. You are here for four. Three, no holds. Two, and release. Oh. I've never taken, if you've never taken class with me, I've got a favorite line. One more thing, one more thing. But we're going to say we're good, okay? Hope we're all in agreement with that. You're going to keep hugging that right arm. Start hugging that right knee. It feels better on some, for some of you to plant that left foot to support your low back. Otherwise, feel free to keep that left foot extended long. And because we did get that little hamstring bit, in, it might feel nice to extend that leg up towards the ceiling again. That left foot planting is always a nice option. Oh. Hope we're feeling like we had our muscles <clears throat> worked a little bit. Now let's all take that left heel drawn in towards your feet. Cross your right ankle over and then just find any variation. If you just want to stay with that foot rooted down today, if you like to capture the shin or behind that head or behind that hamstring. There's a pillow close squat by and you're like putting it your head. If you feel like you have to lift your head up off your mat and you always feel bad when there's like a strain on your neck. So just make sure you feel supported through your head and your neck. Hmm. You certainly can stay here. There's always a lot to explore through those glutes. Otherwise, find a variation of your supine twist. You can cross that knee over. You can stack the knees. You can take the eagle legs. But let's let the knees release to that left side. Gazing maybe towards the ceiling, over your right shoulder. 
even over your left shoulder to bring a stretch to that right side of your head. Starting to slow down that breath. Oh. And then with ease, just return yourself back to center. Uncross your legs, give your knees a nice big squeeze. And you're going to plant that right foot to the ground or extend it to lengthen, keep hugging that left knee in. If it felt good to add in that hamstring stretch, go ahead and extend that leg any amount would be bend and knee a lot. And that feels good. You like to play with a bent or a straight or a combination. And then go ahead and make your way to your figure four on your back. So crossing that left ankle over your right thigh. We'll breath through those hips. Uh, the sun is shining. There's a gratitude today. And then in your next couple of breaths, make your way to that supine twist. Moving through that second. And then as you return yourself back to your center, I'm going to invite you to take any final stretches or movements or postures or shapes that feel good in your body. And then we'll just take a moment to find the stillness, breathing into your Shavasana. Whatever that looks like for you, whether it's lying on your back or your side or even on your belly and your front body, or sitting up in this position of quiet, and all the benefits of this practice to seep into every cell in your body. Breathing full, deep, slow breaths. And gratitude for this time, for this space, for this connection to community, even from the comfort of our own home. No one or no animal is bugging you and you have more time to be in this space. I'm never going to take you away from that. Okay? Otherwise, you start to make any movements in your body, whether it's a wiggle of the fingers and toes or gentle tuck of the chin or rock the head from side to side. And then if you're like, oh, I'm still not quite ready to move on, you stay. Otherwise, you Make your way onto that one side and then just stick with that word once again, breathing that into your whole positions. And then as you feel ready to make your way up to a comfortable seated position, we'll just finish with one final breath together. I am so incredibly grateful Shook is here practicing with me and um, the love and the dedication that he and Shauna and the whole yoga fit management team um, and you community have for this space and just the, the belief that we just need this. Um, I just cannot thank you enough. I feel so honored. It's so great that I get to be in front of this. Let's take one big breath here. My arms are tied at this back. And then exhale, just a big bow to one another and say namaste.